Hi guys, just going to answer a few comments on my latest video where one of the things I looked at was the Poundland motion sensor activated um, LED strip which I can't remember how much it cost, it, it was less than £5, I think it might have been £3 Anyway, the review I did, I was hoping to use it during daylight to uh, turn things on and off and I found it's got an LDR on it and it only works in the dark. Now quite a few people said why don't I just cover the LDR well if you watch the original video I did cover it and it didn't seem to trigger. Maybe it'll only come on in the dark. Ah good point. Uh, So if we cover one of these, no, nope. well, how disappointing. I'll go and get a little power bank and I'll go in somewhere dark and see if it comes on. Now I think it must have been I just didn't cover it well enough. So at this moment in time, it's under there. I've taken it apart, taken the little lens off it. Now, the whole thing is covered at the moment. But if I move around enough, I can actually trigger it. Because it's obviously picking up heat. This is the passive infrared detector I'm talking about. There we go. When I take this off, I'll show you that there should be no way it's picking up that heat, but it is just by me waving my hands around. I've got it set to five seconds and it is turning itself off again. If it sees me again within that five seconds, it doesn't turn off. Let's see if we can do that again anywhere. My hot little hands turning it on. It's not going to do it now, is it? Oh, I think it's also got a delay that it doesn't re trigger straight away when it has turned off. Let's take this off. Right. So the silver bit is the P PIR. It's actually written on there PIR. I'll do a close up in a minute. And then the LDR light detecting or light dependent resistor um, I've got black tape and blue tack over it to ensure that no light gets to it because in the previous video I just held my finger over it or on it and that clearly didn't stop enough light this isn't going to go off now because I'm moving around and talking if we cover it again Hopefully it'll go off in about five seconds or ten seconds. Yeah, it's gone off. Yeah, five minutes or ten seconds. It's not going to see me again. It's not going to do it now. So it just seems crazy sensitive, that PIR. And obviously it's not covered. Is it going to do it? It's not going to do it now. Anyway, back to the original comments. Yes, if I cover that LDR, it does work. But it just seems to be far too sensitive now. because that's not going to go out while it sees me moving around. I think I've covered it better this time.
So yeah, it can be used during daylight if you cover that LDR. It's probably easier just to desolder it, take it right out of the equation. You might have to replace it with a, I'm not sure whether it'll want low resistance or high resistance to res register as a, uh, to replace it. That's not going to trigger now, is it? Fascinating. Yep. Found it eventually. I wonder if it was just the, put the heat on it. Yeah, bit of heat going through the leather of my purse there. So that is a very sensitive PIR. Go on, turn off again. Yeah, enough playing around. So yeah, you're quite right. Cover the PI, uh, cover the LDR, and we can use it. Right, close up. So you can see I've got blue tack on there and black tape. I think you can possibly see it says PIR on top of there. There we are, nice and clear. So yeah, black tape and blue tack to make sure we weren't getting any light coming in around the back. I can say in the previous video I did do that to cover it and then wave my finger over it and that didn't seem to trigger it. I'll just power off and on again. Little delay, yeah there we go. Right, cover that. That's what I did in the video. And that did nothing. the black tape and the blue tack yeah okay so thanks guys thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.